Okay. I managed to get down to about 23 kilograms. Uh, I made some water. I did have to... Uh, Yep, I had to wait now. Do I want to take a No, I'll just leave the one I have on me down there. I'm gonna leave a I could use this. Take this for a traveler. I'm gonna leave a uh, pry bar bar or um you know something to uh Hmm. not too cold out but yeah I did have to make a fire last night to uh, to make it through the the uh, couple hours between uh, right as right as dawn starts to hit there it just it's too cold to uh, sustain your temperature with just using the uh, bedroll so I think I've got them down to yeah, as long as he's sheltered, he only needs about four to five hours a day of fire time. And not a really hot fire at that, too. So just, you know, a couple of pieces of fur will do it. But I'm excited to go on this little, uh, little walkabout here. Now, there were no wolves out on the ice when I came up here. Uh, but they may have gotten word that I'm out and about. Oh, and you warm up when you're sheltered from the wind. That's good. Okay. So yeah, that's one thing on Interloper. Um, you never really get. If it goes, if you start, if that arrow starts pointing upward. It's worth noticing. And so this is a perfect day for a walk. I am at 26 kilograms. I've been picking up sticks and wood as I go. And I've got that piece of fur. All this I'm going to drop into a... Uh, as my next planned fire, of course, will be a... Uh, a fishing expedition if I can, if I can make it happen. Well, let's see. See, up here... Sometimes, if there is a uh, person, uh, there is also a gun laying beside him. But it looks like just some sticks here now. And one of the things I like about watching other people all the time is you learn new routes. And there's a way up uh, this way to that area up over here. Um, anything right about now. Just up here. There's actually a footpath up into these hills. And of course over top of there, there is the um, a cave and uh, potential maple and birch saplings. And... Um, 
what else? Um, oh yeah, on settings such as stalker, it might be a a prepper's cache. One of those, uh, and it'd be uh, medical. Some more. I think I can use this. Oh no, you're getting kind of overweight with uh, wood, but it'd be a nice cloth is always appreciated. got all that wood on me and stuff I'm gonna I'm gonna head down to at least uh, at least a fishing hut here and get rid of some of this stuff I just thought about all the stuff I could break down inside those cabins and then realized I won't be going inside of those cabins so it is actually calorie very calorie wise and time wise to pick up every single piece of loose uh, decent firewood I can find, I guess. Kind of a new strategy for me. I, uh, you know, I, that's one of those things where I'm like, oh, there's the world's made of rocks, snow, and wood. I mean, how am I going to run out? And then you freeze to death. But, you know, it's usually that I drop rocks and wood first. Sometimes water to lighten the load if I've got enough on me, right? So, let's see what we got out here. I mean, I do have enough wood that if the weather cooperated, I could hunt down a deer. But then the deer and the weather would have to cooperate with me. Yep, and there's that rope climb where the potential for a maple and a birch and that, uh, well, not the potential of the cave, but, you know, you got your maple and birch chance up there. Uh, is that a wolf or... Yeah, it is. But sometimes there's a wolf up over behind here, too. And, uh, I am warm. I gotta keep walking. This is... Really what I should have done to start this... Yeah, there he is. I should have started this, uh... This foot tour. Uh, with some... With some bait. Some, uh, decoys on me. And the intention of killing wolves. And just went and hunted a bunch of them off the lake. And I do have a a bow, so now I'm pretty sure this isn't a bear cave. This the only reason I think this is a bear cave is because you get dragged into it. But I think it's just a regular cave. Is it? I avoid this one because in uh the challenges. You get pulled in here by a bear. But I think it's th this is just a regular cave in uh, survival mode because there's the cave with the bones in it pretty much exactly across the lake. So I think that is the actual bear cave. All right. Now, if you confidently believe I have a plan for this person's survival, then I've done a great job 
of putting on a facade of organization that I do not have. Uh, because I'm not really sure what to do. Now, there's a potential for a gun behind that cabin now that I've checked that access. And if it's not there, and I mean, I should check it out. I am in the neighborhood. But if it's not over there, then it's over there at the derailment. Or it's not outside this time at all. Which, that's, that's the way it goes. I mean, they've obviously had a hunting knife and hatchet uh, giveaway. That's what maybe, maybe after the earthquake, they, they airdropped a crate of uh, hunting knives and hatchets. Oh, you kind of surprised me. Okay, uh, I'm going to crouch on this one. I mean, I know the whole entire game stops when you do this. But it's that anticipation of, as I try to drop a feather, am I going to get attacked? I gotta figure out how to get past those wolves. Which, that's... Getting past wolves is... That's my thing. I like that. Now that is essential. I won't be using that on my clothing. Ooh, condensed milk. Oh. Ah. Alright, we're gonna put that bow away, because that thing's swinging around in my face while I'm looking through cupboards. That's no good. And a heck of an echo out here on Mystery Lake today. Maybe he doesn't need to put quite so much force into closing those drawers. Uh, no, it might not be healthy. Okay. Well, because I spotted the wolves over there, they probably don't have... They kind of stay, like that's like, you know, their dividing line, right? They either stay on that side of the island, or they come onto this side of the island. Either way, they're horrible neighbors. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want them as my neighbors. Oh, well, I've been looking for these. And it does, never hurts to pick up those as you see them. Excellent, Excellent indeed. What do we have here? Hmm. Okay. Well. We're going to... free up some weight. Hey, you never know when you might need to start a fire, and I won't be picking up a lot of sticks on that lake. Hmm. Warm. Still warm. That is amazing. I mean, I'll, I'll chance this when I'm by my... in my cave, I think. For now, I'm gonna have some... some dog food. The hopes that I don't get the food poisoning. All right. And you're like, oh, who gets an, who gets food poisoning off an energy bar? I do. I do. I have a bad history with granola bars. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that this works. Because I can see him. And he's going that way. 
And there's a bear. And what looks like a blizzard starting. And now I'm starting to get cold. And that wind is doing that heavy duty gust. Seems to be a lot of animal activity going on right in front of uh, where I want to go. Yeah, see, that's everybody wants to go over there and listen to the rocks. Yeah, but this guy's still coming at me because my uh, because my long dark throwing really. Oh no, he's not. He's actually he's going away from me. Okay, well I'm gonna get up and run. Because as much as I enjoy being out here. You know, amongst the wild beasts, uh, not so much, actually. I'm hoping for more fishing line. There's a hook. Under the stove, nothing. Okay, well, that bear's making his circuit back around, so I'm going to run over and check behind that uh, cabin really quick. Hopefully without alerting him and turning him around. I mean, I could take the shot. Now, I'm not too discouraged that there's no crows out here because... The weather's uh, getting bad, but I don't think my rifle's here either. Oh, well, the person is here. Oh, and the rifle's here. Okay. Well, this was a great find. Yep, thank goodness. Now I'm pretty well armed. At the same time, it's a pretty, uh, it's in pretty bad condition. Ugh. Put enough guts on me. More meat. Unless the sardine can's got a hole in it. So he must have turned around, or I must be seeing things in the reeds, because I swear there was a wolf right... And it's a wolf-shaped rock, rock, I think. That's... Okay. Now this was, this was good. Good and... Good and bad. Went through a little bit more of his uh, precious medicine. Because there's not a lot, until I can get to the plane crash. 
And if I get to the plane crash, I consider it pretty much game over. He'll have more bullets than, uh... More bullets than Rambo, and more matches, and it's just, he'll be so set up. Because, I mean, the difference between, of course... Oh, this breeze, I tell you, it's so loud. The difference between, uh... The interloper plane crash and the, uh... The stalker plane crash is just... It's just amazing. So I'm going to crawl around these guys, and uh, unless that doesn't work, I'll see you on the other side. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Never mind, we'll just, I'll just go straight on up here and... I do have a gun, I suppose. Thing is, horrible with it. Just... Horrible. Yeah, well, we never explored this um, fishing hut anyway, so. Funny thing I like about the wolves, generally, is if you walk towards them where they are, because they're constantly on the move, usually by the time you crawl over there, they're going away. But if I do shoot my my rifle. I want it to definitely do something. I don't want to just scare him off. I don't like it that he's skipping over to the other side of the island here. Make sure none of them decide that they want to take a sharp left and see what I'm up to. Now, does this one have a door on it? No, good, good, because now I don't have to fumble with a door. Okay, let's see what's in here. Got some candy bar. Oh, there's my condition. Um, cupboard. Looks like really nothing else other than a um, candy. Oh, a sewing kit. Good, good. Just as important as the cloth. Now, I, I feel good because I'm not overweight yet. And I still have, and I have the rifle in my possession, so. Okay. I have the... Okay, I guess I have a dot up because I'm in the hut close to this thing. I wonder if this will work. It sure does. Okay, well that is cheaty as all get out. I can't be doing that. Okay, so if you... If you really want it, you can kneel by something that you interact with, and I guess you'll get that dot, and uh, suddenly you're a sniper. Which is not how the gun is uh, supposed to be played, I believe. So. Oh yeah, so you could like hide near cattail stalks and use them as like a long range sighting thing. So just a tip for for anyone who who wants to do that, maybe improve the rifle uh, skill a little bit. 
Well, that was... I don't... That's nuts. I'm gonna put that gun away, actually. I feel bad now. Well, nighttime's rolling in. It's getting chilly. He's had a really... A really good day. He's got a rifle to go clean and a... Uh, a deer to harvest up here. Got to get those guts curing. So yeah, I'm going to pretend I did not shoot that wolf. Because I didn't shoot the wolf. I pointed a dot at a wolf. And then did some quick mouse moves and it died. That's how that happened and I don't... That's not how that rifle is. The rifle is supposed to be challenging. <laughs> challenging. You're not supposed to just... <laughs> because in reality... I would have missed that shot. I know I would have. There's, no, I'm not that good with the with the gun. I can't put a piece of tape up over my over my screen for wolves killed and uh, a rifle hits. But I'm just we're gonna I'm gonna leave that corpse and just not take credit for that. That was. Because now I figured out you can do that. You can do, you can kneel in the uh, cattails, and they can't see you, and and you can snipe them from from half the lake away. That's not. I mean, if you're good with that, if you're that good with a rifle, then you should be playing like Call of Duty competitively. I think, because I don't know that thing is like a. It's like, this isn't a rifle, this is a vacuum cleaner. Alright, I'll see you up at the cave here when I get back home to my home base with my, uh... My new... My new things. Okay, back on the, uh, back on my ledge here. I've got a stiff wind that's blowing right into his face. So, he's got to go in here for a minute and warm up. Cloth campfire. Let's see what I've got for, for wood supplies. I didn't pick up a lot of sticks while I was out there. All right, back down to zero sticks for now. There's a few sticks out there on the uh, on the overlook, so I'm just gonna just gonna wait a second here. Get into my toolkit. Let's uh, let's check this thing out. Forty three percent. Okay, so let's do it properly. I'm going, to, I'm going to clean there's a grating yet satisfying sound at the same time how are we for uh, for weight I'm very much over oh I guess I'm just exhausted okay well the weather's changed up uh, I don't like the fact that I only have one piece of fishing line. What do we have over here in my hardware store? Tea knife pry bar. Okay. Well, it sounds like the wind's backed off a little bit, so I am going to go and... Uh... Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, down below there, I wasn't too worried about that, uh, 
But that corpse not being there until I could... Oh, weather crows. Okay, I was wondering what all the crow action was going on with there. I wasn't too worried about the, uh... Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't have a hacksaw. But the meat comes off faster with the hatchet than it does the knife when it's frozen. That's 45 minutes either way. Okay, well, I'm going to just grab the meat. He's getting tired. Okay, the hide is 45 minutes with the hatchet frozen, or 30 with the knife. And then frozen gut is 10 minutes or 20. All right, well, then we're going to go for both. Okay, perfect. See, that whole time I was sheltered from the wind, never got cold. It's these types of, uh, I don't know if you want to call them luxuries, that you just don't get on... Uh, on interloper that I'm really not used to. The idea that I could go out and harvest a... So you don't really learn um, playing stalker and how to harvest a deer until you've frozen to death beside a deer carcass a couple of times. Well, I really want that... I'm going to drop the meat off, come back out, grab grab a fur limb and then good I've got some guts curing that has been that's been on my mind a lot, actually. Well, I mean, you know, not while I'm doing the dishes or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's been on my mind as I've been playing the game, like, uh, gonna have to get some guts curing. And, I mean, I do, I am running into a lot of resources, and I'm really happy for it. I think it really, but it's still, it's, it's, go ugh. I mean, they're pretty to look at, but the wildlife is just... There we go. You get some of the most like fantastic views in this game though it's just amazing i just love that stuff ever since they brought the aurora in die if i don't warm up soon oh yeah you're actually in pretty rough shape all in all i am not this guy is not surviving how i would uh how i would survive that's for sure got a backpack full of food He's exhausted. I wouldn't be out chopping limbs if I was exhausted. Okay. Yeah, the only problem with uh, consistently doing fur limb breakdowns is you don't get a tinder plug. I mean, you can just make a stick into a tinder plug, but at the same time, it's one of those things, you know, it's like a, a really awesome. It finally fell sideways. Something I got something to drop and fall leaning up against something. It's like a little meat chair or something. I don't know, but at least it's lean. I I've always wanted to be able to lean things up against stuff. So I guess if you just back up right up against the wall and drop it, it'll lean for you. Or at least that one did. That's the first time I've ever gotten something to lean. I know it's yeah. 
I'm, I'm apparently very easy to please. So, okay, so it's time to eat, drink. Um, let's uh, let's clean up some of this stuff here. Thirty-seven percent. It's not really gambling. Twenty-four percent on condensed milk sorta is. I think they're playing the appropriate music for the sardines. <laughs> Those things poison me all the time. Okay. Thank you so much for being here as I went about the, the place and discovered the hunting rifle. It's going to really help me out. Um... I repeat, I am not going to use that dot sight. It doesn't come with a white dot sight, so that's not, uh, that's not, that is not part of the game. I don't, you're not supposed to do that. So, but yeah, I'm going to just, uh, clean this rifle a little bit and then go to bed. And he'll see you tomorrow when he's got, uh, a full a full rest in so until then keep surviving and hopefully I'll see y'all next time and uh, I'm gonna make my way down to the derailment go that way um, that's usually some pretty wolf heavy territory so I'm gonna head down to the do the derailment run. Check to see what's in there. I have all these outdoor spots that I would like avoid because um, there was really no point in going there. Now, now they're now they're suddenly all very Im important because they'll hold things that you need. So, all right. Well, we'll see you next time, and and uh, yeah, when he makes his uh, run down to the derailment and occupies just a little bit more time up here, and uh, maybe goes fishing, does some things. But I gotta get my uh, my guts curing. I think once my stuff is cured, I gotta make a run to trappers too. Grab all that stuff and bring it up here. And then from here, I can make a good assessment of what I really want to bring to um, to the coastal highway. What I want to work on while I'm there. Pretty much what I'm going to do while I'm there. Because it's going to be fishing huts and... Uh, Does Coastal Highway even have a decent cave? I'm trying to think of... You know, I got a rifle. Maybe I'll go live in Crumbling Highway for a bit. That's a tough neighborhood. Alright, I'm sorry. Enough babbling. I'll see you next time.